Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing my November monthly favorites. Or recent favorites, whatever you want to call it, because it's probably like December 7th by now. But I didn't have time to film it at the beginning of the month, so I'm just going to film it now. No really long babbling intro, I am just going to get right into it. My first favorite is this. This is the GVP Pro um, blow dryer. I forgot what it was for a second. It is a blow dryer. And I didn't used to think that a blow dryer really mattered. I had a dinky cheap, I think it was like Conair one for like five years. And it did the job. And then it broke because my boyfriend was using it to dry one of his art pieces things. So then I bought a cheap Revlon one at Walmart. And it literally smelled like it was burning. Not my hair, but just when it, like the air in it. Just smelled like burning air. And the back popped off. So I didn't want to go and buy a cheap one again and have it just you know be crap so I picked up this one at Sally's I think it was like 30 bucks and let me just tell you oh my god I didn't think like a hair dryer actually mattered like it dries your hair it's whatever it's not like when you get a straightener you need a really good straightener that doesn't damage your hair I usually put it on the cool setting or medium setting anyways I didn't think it really mattered this bad boy cuts my hair dry in half it usually takes me about a half an hour to 45 minutes I know you guys are looking at me like, Ashley, you have short hair, but I have thick hair. And if my hair is really, like, to its longest that it's been, like, what it was, like, three years ago, it takes about 45 minutes to fully dry this hair because my hair is thick and crazy. But now it takes, like, 15, and I didn't expect it to be like that, and it, it really it really works really well. So, I know there's a sale going on right now at Sally's, I think. Where if you buy one of these, you get like a clipless curler and or hair straightener for free. But yeah, I picked up this for $30 and it literally just like changed my life for blow drying my hair. So that is that. Then to go along with that, I had kind of forgot that I had this and I had ran out of my little mini glossing polish. And sometimes I don't like putting just like regular oil in my hair to kind of finish it off when I'm done straightening it. But I have kind of re-fallen in love with the Proclaim Argan Oil Glossing Polish. Now this isn't just like putting regular 100% argan oil in your hair, but it does make my hair feel really very smooth and very soft after I strain it. So I really do like this. It's very concentrated. You literally need the tiniest bit. And it smells really good. Okay. And lastly for hair are these two hair colors. And this is the new mixture for my like mermaid teal whatever it is hair color and this is Pravana Vivids in blue and in green now um I had mixed these together I kind of eyeballed it so if you guys want to know the color that I had it's like mostly um the green and a little bit of blue but since when I was stripping or not stripping removing the purple from my hair which I did a vitamin C removal. I did a whole blog post on that experience. It'll be linked down below. My hair was still a little bit like bluish purple, so I didn't add as much blue as I did green, and it still kind of came out a little bit blue toned. The next time I refresh it, it'll probably be more, more green. But I basically used a half tube of this to like less than a quarter or tube of this, and that is the color that I got in my hair. And I cannot say enough about how much I love the Pravana Vivids. Or just Pravana in general. I want to try the neon so bad. Like the neon green is just making me want that color. So, But I can't say enough good things about these. They are very, 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 very pigmented. They last forever. And you can mix them together and create just amazing dyes. They don't transfer on the clothes. They're just... I love them. Okay, now on to the very small makeup section of my favorites. I try to put a little bit from each little aspect. Um, I kind of re fallen in love with not really this whole palette, but a color in this palette, especially since my hair is like tealish green. And this is the Too Faced Pretty Rebel palette. And I don't even know if they, they probably don't even make this anymore. But it's the color Girly, which is right there. And it's like a brown but it shifts to like a teal I think it's like a, it's supposed to be a dupe for I think MAC club eyeshadow and there's also a good comparable um color for this in the um but yeah if you guys can see it's like a brownish color that shifts to teal I don't know if you can see it underneath these lights because I have the Christmas lights throwing everything off but it's really pretty and I think you guys can see it there it's 
really smooth and pigmented and I just I really like it and I like the way that it looks with my hair I am wearing it right now and it's one of those looks that you can just put on your on your lid just just on your lid and then use like a transition color to kind of like smoke it out or just kind of blend it out a little bit and it looks like a complete look it's really easy really simple and I just like it and next, because it is getting really cold, and my lips have really cold, and my lips haven't really been doing that well. Um, if I want to wear lipstick, which you guys know, I am pretty much a lipstick junkie. I'm not wearing any today, though, giving my lips a little bit of a rest. Um, this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. It's just a little stick like that. It has little pieces of brown sugar or whatever kind of sugar in it. And you put it on your lips scrub off all of the dead skin which sounds disgusting let it sit on for a while wipe it off and your lips are just like brand new um this is three dollars at target it lasts me probably about two months and then it kind of dries out but you have to make sure that you keep the cap on it really tight and keep it in like a area where it's not gonna get like like i wouldn't keep it out on my counter I'd keep it in a drawer just so it doesn't really get exposed that much because it will get really hard very quickly and it will break off and just be kind of it is if you didn't notice it's not on me today but i have worn it in my last few videos it is this sweater that i got from torrid it is my kind of christmasy sweater my skull and snowflake sweater it just it has little skulls on it like this and that is the back and it is so comfy, it is so warm. I wore this on Thanksgiving just with like a black tee and some nice pants and boots. And I didn't even need a jacket because it was it was fairly nice out, but it was a little chilly. And this kept me warm and it's so comfy and I would probably be wearing it today, but I didn't want you guys being like, she's wearing that sweater again in the video. <laughs> but it is seriously one of my favorite sweaters and I get so many compliments when I wear this sweater. And it is just, it's just nice. I just want to just sleep on it. It feels like a cuddly blanket. It's just, it's, it's really is. This is probably going to be in an empties video soon because I finished two of these. I don't know if I featured this in my last favorites. I might have. But this is my second, my second candle of this kind. And this is the pumpkin, um, the pumpkin pecan waffle candle. And what I love about this is that I don't even have to light it. I can just keep it in my kitchen. And I can come home from work and my whole kitchen smells like waffles it just you can't even really it doesn't have a really strong pumpkiny smell to it it just smells like pecan waffles maple goodness and it's very potent like I said I don't even have to like light it and this is my second one I'm gonna be so sad when it's gone I was gonna go check out um Bath and Body Works the other day because they were having like a two for 22 sale but I didn't have time and I want to see if they had any more of these before you know they're all gone but just it smells so good I am just gonna need a moment mm. but if you if you do have a chance to pick this up I don't know if it's still there if they still have the whole pumpkin cafe thing going on but this was seriously my favorite from that it is pumpkin pecan waffle and it is just it is just great so that is it that is my recent monthly favorites video I try to keep it a little bit of everything so I hope you guys enjoyed it if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to me if you haven't already. My social media is all linked below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for more constant updates. Follow me on Facebook. If you want to see if I do new blog posts or new videos, just follow me on all the social media things so you can keep up with this and if you miss anything new. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video.